guys, it's your girl Lauren Burberry. I'm back with another reaction video. It's about a tie on rappers so what rappers think about Gunna and the right Twitters. Let me know what y'all think about Gunna. Right now. Thug is facing life in prison while everyone else Damn, is flipping off. Young thug. And one he's of the most shocking real? twists is when his homie Gunna took a plea deal in the case. Gunna says he's not snitching, but not everyone is convinced. And today, we're breaking down how other rappers really feel about I'm Gunna in a bigger situation. Too, Let's get right into it. Anytime over 20 dudes get wrapped up in the same case, it's only a matter of time before someone flips and starts talking. A lot of people That's thought true. Well, that case. You think, dudes you think nobody gonna talk? But fans were still shocked when the news broke that Gunna had taken a plea deal. Gunna took an Alfred plea deal before the trial started. Not even which basically lie. means... I don't know legal stuff. Him, but he's not actually admitting some, to the crime. Some, that, yeah, some people say he snitched and some people say he really didn't snitch. But it's like you really sat there and just told them that that's a gang and it's not a label so it's like i don't know some people feel like they can't some people said that thug can't get in trouble if they say it's a gang but my thing is he's down for a rico bro ain't that like gang activities and drugs activity so the fact that you just sat there and said that whole label is a gang and it's not a label it's just like a front for the media but it's really a gang bro I feel like you really kind of just threw him under the rug because that's like he's like the the face of YSL. So for you to say, oh, it's a gang, not a label, it's like kind of crazy. But then he really didn't say like, oh, Thug did this. He told this person to go kill that person. He really didn't say that, but he did say it was a gang. So I don't know. It's like 50-50. It's like he really snitched, but he really didn't give details. A lot of people thought YSL would end up having some dudes working with the cops. But fans were still shocked. When I was the news shocked. Broke, and Gunna had taken I would expect Gunna to, because, like, you're like. People ain't gonna care about them other people snitching, you know what I'm saying? But you're Gunna, bro. Like. You do. You and Gunna Thug took was like this, bro. Started, which basically means he thinks the state can convict him, but he's not actually admitting to the crime. That's the true. He handed down a five year sentence, one year served, and the rest of it suspended. But Gunna told everyone he didn't snitch to get the deal. He said. I have not made any statements, have not been interviewed, have not cooperated, have not agreed to testify or be a witness for that's or against true. any I don't party know in the case. Stuff, but what he's saying the that's true, but like, like, just got lucky with his deal. Like a but then a video came out showing him admitting in court that YSL was a gang and that he was in a car with Young Thug when the cops found drugs and guns in it. That's what I'm the saying. prosecutor asked him if they were his, and he told him no. But some people think Gunna basically threw Thug under the bus right there. Is that true as it pertains to you, Mr. Kitchens? Yes, ma'am. See, Why? I'm an innocent bystander, and I live by that. If you have any type of guns and drugs in your car, please let me know, because I will not get in your car. To be honest, I wouldn't even... To be honest, sometimes you got to keep your mouth shut, because I heard if you don't say nothing, if y'all both don't say nothing, they can't charge you. I don't know how true that is. I feel like they can't charge... I don't know. Cops are so dirty. I feel like they can't charge you, but some people say they can't charge you because they don't know. I don't know the legal stuff, but that's what people say. But just don't pick me up. Don't pick me up in a car that got guns and drugs. He told him no. But some people think if Gunna you are, basically threw thugs and drugs. Drive like you right have there. success. Some people think you drive there like you have no success. Yes, ma'am. YSL is a music label and a game. And you have personal knowledge that members or associates of YSL have committed crimes in furtherance of the game. He snitched. You were present when he I snitched. He snitched. No, you just heard what she just. I didn't even peep what she. Have committed crimes you have crime. knowledge that members committed crimes. You snitched, bro. What the hell? I didn't even peep. I just thought he just said, "Oh, it's a gang and not." A I didn't even hear that part of. She asked him, "You have knowledge of people in this gang or label have committed crimes? Basically, crimes that the, they don't even." And you have personal knowledge that members or associates of YSL have committed crimes in reference of the game. Yes, ma'am. You were present when law enforcement officers stopped a vehicle in which you were present along with Jeffrey Williams, where in hydrocodone, methamphetamines, and a firearm were recovered. What? First, no, first of all, this part I can't blame Gunna. Why is Thug driving around with you are your dog, bro? Your young dog. Why is you driving around with them type of stuff in your car? You have people for that. That's why I don't understand what robbers. You have people for certain things, bro. Why first of all, why is that in your car and why is that in your home? Your actual home that they didn't they arrest him at his home or something like that? Or went to his home? And you acknowledge the following statement. I recognize, accept, 
and deeply regret that my talent and music indirectly furthered YSL the game to the detriment of my community. YSL as a game must end. Is that your statement or acknowledgement? Yes. After the video came out, other artists in the rap game started picking sides. Gunna posted a pic on IG with the caption. It's like, I don't like know. It's like, side, now, at first, I was like, I don't side. know. But then, Ash it's like the fact, he really didn't give details, though. Which is, I don't know, like, it, this is like, sort of snitching. Not, but not fully snitching. Or cooperating. It's because, like, he didn't say, oh, I saw a thug do this. I saw such and such do that. But it's like, you said you have knowledge of activities. So you know, and, um, like why sell the label? Hashtag <laughs> free thug and yeah, gun the back. Some people like Kid Cudi, Jacquees, and DJ Skeen show love to gun on social media. Oh, but there I was also a ton of rappers calling him snitch. Boosie Badass posted a clip of Gunna in court oh, yeah. and wrote, "Rap." This would have put tears in my eyes. See, my brother. I didn't see that part. Boosie aired him out, That's switched him thug, but he's fighting for his life yeah. in court. Then he followed it up and said Gunna ruined his legacy over one charge that he wouldn't have even done hard time for. Freddie Gibbs up on social media. He, he, he just ain't trying to do that five two. years. He tweeted, telling Fibs after the video leak, which was a reference to a diss Gunna sent at Gibbs on the track Poochie Gown. Gunna's issues with Gibbs actually started back in 2020 when Gunna and Thug were beefing with a Baton Rouge rapper named Tech. Tech leaked the video where Gunna's talking to a reporter about his cousin oh, allegedly right. killing a girl. Tech said the clip was from a show called Crime Stoppers, which is all about tracking down one of criminals. Talking to reporters about a murder wasn't a good look for somebody like Gunna. But a few months later, he went on The Breakfast Club to clear up the situation. According to him, it wasn't an episode of Crime Stoppers. Gunna said it was just a local news reporter about his cousin who was serving a life sentence for allegedly killing a little girl. Gunna said his cousin was innocent and he just went on the news to defend his name. But Freddie Gibbs tweeted, if you was on Crime Stoppers TV, you would snitch. Ain't no way I around. Mean, if he's, Gunna if he's not to the suite, and it seemed like he was just gonna move on. I like two years later. Oh my god. I feel like it's not snitching because he's trying to clear his cousin's name. So that's not really snitching. But I ain't gonna lie. My cousin... I don't know. That's crazy. Because it's like, what if your cousin really didn't kill that little girl? I don't know. When kids involved and innocent bystanders involved, it's like, you're on your own. You ain't my... I ain't gonna lie. I wouldn't do the interview. Dude. Wouldn't I wouldn't do the interview until like... I don't know. It's like, you're supposed to believe your family. Like, let's say your family did do something like that. I don't know. That's kind of... Oof. I, to be honest, I wouldn't show my face. Even if it's true or not, I wouldn't show my face. Because what if it is true? Or what if it's not? I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. Freddie mm -hmm. Gibbs will have to play his own damn thing. Play your own damn thing. I'm the hot topic right now. This uh -uh, is uh -uh, I'm play the little kids. I get no. it. You can say you sold more records, got more really money, did. but I ain't never been on Crime Stoppers. They sent some more shots back and forth on social media. Then Gunna dropped the track Gucci Gown and said, Hang above the rim, I can't fuck with Freddie Gibbs. Niggas tell him bitch. Rich kids try to get next to me, you know your chance is slim. Gibbs clowned him for the weak line, started throwing more shots right after the news broke about Gunna's deal. He tweeted, It was because they took their verse off my album because one of ain't like me. I wonder how they feel now. And I pray for this day. Gibbs ain't the only dude in the industry who's been climbing the gunner over the situation. Down for? Six nine is known as the biggest rat in the rap game after he flipped he school even... and the cops, but that hasn't stopped him from taking shots at Gunner. You're worse than Gunner. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I feel like you. it's like who you choose? Snakes not a gunner. I feel like I'm gonna You you literally wrote a statement, bro. Like you was in witness protection. Like you was the whole uh, He posted a video of Gunner in court and wrote, Go ahead and make your million excuses. I stand on whatever I do or did. That's why I'm still walking on this earth and nothing ever happens to me. Me that is make true. First post after getting six nine did let him know that he was a snitch. He didn't he really was he I one thing yeah, six nine do not care about. He didn't care. Please and put why the label in the yeah. caption. Six nine clowned him over it and commented. Yeah, I ain't like that. Like why you now it's a label? Here on IG, you saying the label. <laughs> LOL, you can't now make this shit up. You get out and it's a label. Manager Come on now. Also thinks gonna flip. He said, listen, you're not pleading guilty to a Rico and they're freeing you. He did something. Sauce Walk is a Houston rapper known for tracks like Texas Cyclone and Ghetto Gospel. He went live and clown Gunner for taking a deal, said he felt sorry for Young Thug. Sauce said he takes 25 or 30 years without flipping on his homies, and then he can see his daughter on FaceTime if that's what it took. He also said Gunner would have only been hit with one or two years if he took it to trial. This, was, this is why it's so good to be a, a, a civilian and letting people... It One thing about it, you could be a civilian and still have friends that's like, you know what I'm saying? You just gotta let them know, don't do anything around me, none of that, bro. Who the hell wanna go to jail for 30 years, bro? Like...
What the it's hell? one thing to talk about staying silent with your crew and spending decades it's in prison, <laughs> but now Sauce won't no I have to really prove what he said. Just a few days after Gunn took the deal, Sauce found him for it. Fourteen dudes from his crew, the Sauce Factory, were booked on RICO charges. The sauce wasn't booked during the takedown, but there's no telling how the case will go. And if someone in his crew talks crazy and Sauce Walker gets brought into the case, he might end up facing the same kind of situation Gunner was in. But it's not just random dudes in the industry. That That's like a camera right now. Little What's baby and Gunner have been tight for years. They dropped a collab project back in 2018. Uh, and last year, their track Drip Too Hard went certified diamond. They racked the up duo. over a million streams together. But now, it's all falling apart over the Rico case. Gotcha. Baby and him yeah, been like about it. Fans noticed together. recently that he don't follow Gunna on IG. And he's not the only homie Gunna's lost. Gunna and Lil Durk have been working together for a long time and popped off oh last year God. with the track What Happened Version. Durk obviously ain't rocking with how Gunna handled the voice situation. And he previewed a new track where he said, What Happened to Virgil? He probably gonna tell. He didn't call Gunna out by name, but fans connected with the bar to him immediately. When Gunna got released, he also tweeted a message to Lil' Key, who tragically passed away last year from blood cell disorder. Key was affiliated with YSL, but his brother Lil' got it, obviously in cool with Gunna right now. Gunna tweeted, R.I.P. Key, I love you and I miss you, twin. If they got it, hop on IG and wrote, don't call me twin, and you need to stop that cat. Thug's brother on Funk also hopped in and let everyone know he wasn't rocking with Gunna anymore either. On his IG story, he wrote, all that internet shit, not pee. I've been humble with you. What are you talking about, his real brother? Who co-founded YSL with Thug, Eric Gunn out for taking the deal on the Ugly Money podcast. Mondo said Gunn was always a genuine dude, but he panicked when the case got dropped on him. He said, you know what I'm saying? The boys are good. Not f the boys, but that's something you should do, sir. Chat, I don't know. It's like I gotta hear from Gun. I mean, not Gun. I gotta hear from Young Thug. Thug, what's your paperwork say? <laughs> So my, what, whatever, I don't know, because he really did snitch. Man, bro said he has knowledge of criminal acts. You, you really kind of told. So you can't say, well, if they treat me, well, oh, I ain't even talking about And the fact that they was going to give him five years. It ain't no, it's no, it, it's no it. you know what I'm saying? Some you just don't do. Hey, why you crying? Bro, how you get five years in the Rico case? Oh, Jim like Jones is another rapper who doesn't think Gunner should have taken the deal. In an interview with DJ University, he said, I mean, you ever invest a case by the sanctions and shit like that? That's something different and shit like that. But I ain't taking the pills or touching things, and I don't really want to touch too much on it and shit like that because. Jones says he's seen his own homies get snitched on and have to do serious time. But none of them ever took a plea deal. And even though the situation ain't looking great for Young Thug right now, Jones said, Above all, He's a black man that started from nothing and helped so many black people become successful. God bless, I see some crazy things, man. You never know that man could come home. And that's what I'm praying for. It seems like most of the rap game ain't rocking with Gunner right now, but not everyone switched on him. Gunner and DDG linked up for the track Elon Musk, and DDG told DJ Academics that he's not worried about all the street code talk that's going around right now. He says Gunner showed him love, no big career ain't rap. Do it. He don't care about any of the drama. Gunner taking the deal means he won't have to risk going to prison. Just this is like, already affecting his career. Fans, like, they talking about they picking and choosing what. I'm still going to listen to Gunner. <laughs> what the hell? What is good music? What good music have to stop? First of all, some of y'all listening to certain artists that be doing certain things. You know what I'm saying? You Let's put the music aside from the artist, bro. I'm going to still listen to certain artists. I ain't going to say, but y'all already know who we still listening to. Like, I feel like the only person people don't listen to is 6ix9ine. <laughs> But Rappers like, who would have done the same thing if they were in the show. Why would I talk to the rap game, it's all about your image and even rumors about snitching and in your career. If I mean, I just probably want to take his new music serious. Most people want to mention it. But if he takes a stand, his career will likely be over to. and he'll be just out of Atlanta too. Being a famous rapper is already dangerous. But flipping on one of the biggest and most influential artists in the city will put it's a massive target on Gunner's back. Nobody knows how the situation will play out. So tap in for this updates. This one, that one. Tell what will happen Sitting there. talking on the phone with his girlfriend too. You... Oh, I'm, oh, God. I don't even know what to say about Thug. I ain't gonna lie. Not even. This one sitting talking to, talk to, talk to his girlfriend on the phone. Like, cops don't know calls and... It, oh, I ain't gonna lie. Thug, you had... You, you had... You know, like, some of the people you had around you... Like I said, you always gotta be careful with people around you, bro. I always say this. If you gonna do something... To be honest, do it by yourself. Because look at, look at him now. We don't even know how many years he gonna get. Like, we don't. Like, it gotta be a miracle, bro. Like, a miracle. 
that he does not go to jail. And they feel like he's been locked up for like, what, a year or two or whatever. I think it's been a year. Like, bro, this, I ain't gonna lie, it made me mad sometimes. Cause like, Thug is one of them. We ain't had not, not a song from Thug. <laughs> The summer was whack. This summer about to be whack. No thug. Somebody they gotta drop an unreleased. I know thug got some type of music in the like. You gotta drop something with thug. But if you guys like this reaction, you're able to do like, comment, subscribe. When you subscribe, turn that post notification bell on so you know our new video. And I see you in my next video.